your crew pipes up to politely remind you that everything in your ship must be sold before the years end to count towards the white wager. You have the man flogged. Oh, we're not going to win this, are we? It's November. The thing ends on December 30th, I believe. Nothing interesting has happened. We haven't had anything. It all happened to us at the beginning. Then we just kind of got... Hornitos. Don't know what that is. Doesn't sound very nice. Ah! Here we go, a vicious storm. The clouds grow dark and an alarming speed, and it becomes quickly apparent that a vicious storm is on this way. It's time for your crew to spring into action. Hoist the hatches, batten down the rigging, man the mainsail. You have trained your crew for precisely this sort of situation. Well, either that, or there are enough of them around to cover your f for your bumbling mistakes. But you know the story you'll be sticking to. Having weathered the storm, you continue, having only lost a day's travel. We can't afford to lose a day. Oh, outrageous Phil seems dangerously unwell. Oh dear. Low on supplies, it's not going well. Ah, oh, bollocks. Outrageous Phil has died. At least we didn't lo lose too much money. Weird Bob told me you were his second choice of captain. Out of two. His accent's changed, but that's because he has a Cockney crew now. Yay, muskets. Troubled Vic. Sell. Buy. We're not going to win this, are we? We need higher quality sales. Carry on. Let's go this way. I haven't explored over this way. Two days. Hmm. That's not a lot of money for all of that. Look. Look at all of that. Look at how little money we got. <sighs> it's December 8th. And... We're going to explore the Isle of Tremble Groan. And... Things look grim. Unless we come into a lot of money very soon. We're not going to get any, any, any uh, money from Marwood. Exploring your way through a wooded area, you suddenly hear a high-pitched voice squawking the most filthy insults you have ever heard. Words that do not bear repeating here. Upon investigation, you discover a parrot on the branch of a nearby tree that is the source of the foul noises. You've half a mind to teach it a lesson. Kill it. There's no room for such rudeness, even among parrot kind. Take it with you. Perhaps the thing can be taught some manners. I am going to teach this thing manners. Asking its name, the parrot replies, Mr. Crackers, taking a rare break from its usual string of insults. The Wonder Parrot, it adds, and you decide anything called Mr. Crackers the Wonder Parrot can't be all that bad. Despite the foul mouth, it also seems to have taken a liking to you, hopping on your shoulder so that you can take it back with you. Oh, well, that's nice. We've got a parrot now. At least we look more like a seafaring man. December 17th, 18th. We are not going to win, but might as well cash in everything, see if we can sell the parrot. Upon the seas. You like to think of yourself as a refined captain, overseeing the activities of the crew with stoic, decorous air of someone who is just, well, better than them. But even you couldn't conceal your excitement when you woke up to find the unmistakable shape of the AMS intractable on the horizon. A huge vessel powered by state-of-the-art pre-shattering technology. She was the unchallenged empress of the seas. Now cast adrift, you barely imagine the wonders that await on board. What are we waiting for? As you and your crew wander the decks of the gargantuan ship, all marvel at the exquisite wood and metalwork that speak of forgotten technology. Now inscrutable and dormant, there is an emptiness here. It's almost as if whatever crew cr the crew went, they had time to prepare and gather their belongings. The thrill of mystery is tempted, tempered by the mild annoyance that the ship's holds are empty. 
Nonetheless, your com crew's combined efforts scrounge up a thousand in pieces. You're also sure that many an engineer back home would pay a fair price for the coordinates to the AMS Intractable loan. Return to your ship. Strangely enough, when you return, Filthy Matt is nowhere to be found. When you visit his bunk, most of his belongings are missing. The few remaining neatly tied it away, almost as if he had never expected to return. A chill courses through you, and you resolve never to revisit that strange, empty vessel again. Like the Mara Celeste, innit? Right, let's go home and Filthy Matt has died, and you set aside 750 pieces as compensation based on their rank. Great. More money down the drain. No, we're not going to make it home! No! Ah. <sighs> well, I can win on easy, just not on normal. Total cash earned, 1,640. Marwood, Sir Lester Marwood earned 34,323 pieces. It seems to be pounds, actually. Islands explored, 27. Sir Lester Marwood looks at you with a smirk and says, I'm hardly surprised. Really, it would have been better for both of us if we had we settled this a year ago in advance. Sir Lester Marwood, you can go violate yourself with something spiky. Everyone else, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the wager, because it's quite a fun game. You can get it from... Um, the Surprised Man, I believe is the guy who developed it. He has a website, I'll put links in the description. Uh, play it, there's a lot more to it than what I've showed you here. It's a lot, f it's a lot of fun. Have fun with it, and I will see everyone later. Goodbye!